Guess what time it is? It's time for your Law of Attraction reading. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned if you have any bad habits that you're trying to kick or addictions that you're struggling with or even if you are just trying to begin a new positive healthy habit, okay? Because those are hard to get started sometimes too. Um, this is from my deck, The Addiction Recovery with the Law of Attraction. Um, I created these cards after I was already alcohol free and I kicked my sugar addiction and my toxic relationship addictions. And honestly, uh, the idea was downloaded to me to create these cards. It's got all of the spiritual recovery techniques that I used to quit my addictions, okay? So we're gonna get started here with your card. This is the one that I picked. It's uh, the connection card and it says authentic relationships here on the bottom. And I'm gonna read you the content on the back. All right. This card symbolizes your need for authentic connections on your road to recovery. Real relationships will strengthen you because they require vulnerability, honesty, and openness. The more authentic you are, the more confidence you will gain as you realize that people will accept you even more when you rock your flaws. You know, I think we think of our flaws as a negative thing, but think about who do you hang out with? Do you hang out with people because they're perfect? No, we hang out with people because we like them, because they're genuine and they have quirks and that's okay. They're flossom, right? Flossom, I love that word. Do you have at least one person to whom you can reveal your true authentic self or are you surrounded by superficial friends and relationships? This was definitely the case for me when I was drinking alcohol. Like I had a lot of friends, but they were all party friends, right? Like those are not real friends, guys. Um, when you're only, uh, every time you see them, all you do is drink. It, that's not, that's not how you have true significant bonds. Okay. So meaningful connections will help you reach your full potential. Even if they see things differently than you, you encourage and challenge each other with your different views and a new perspective may be exactly what you need. Keep in mind that you might be the need to be the one to reach out first. If we all wait around for another person to approach us, connections will never happen. This card is urging you to step outside of your comfort zone and be the first to introduce yourself to someone today. I know it's scary, right? If you're watching this at night, it doesn't matter when you're watching this, you receive the message at the right time. That's how law of attraction works. But if it is at night, just plan to do this tomorrow when you're watching. Make time to search for opportunities to connect with new people. Go to places or join groups that interest you, or be open to synchronicity by just driving to random places that you feel inspired to visit. Bring your dog to, to the park if you have one. They are excellent conversation starters, and I can attest to this, like I go to the park alone and with my dog, both sometimes, right? And I can tell you like when I go by myself, nobody talks to me, nobody. It's like I might as well be invisible, but when I bring my little long hair chihuahua, Rico Suave, everybody and their grandmother wants to talk to me. Everybody wants to go. They're great conversation starters. And if you don't have a dog yourself, go to the park and you see somebody else with a dog, use their dog as a conversation starter. Oh my gosh, what kind of dog is that? He's so cute, you know? And be genuine about it. If you don't like dogs, don't do this. But yeah, you always wanna be genuine. Okay, go to a restaurant by yourself. I do that, there's, there's no shame in that. Sometimes you're, you're just hungry and you don't wanna cook and nobody can go, go by yourself. Start conversations at the gym or even the airport. Smile at people and give out sincere compliments. Obviously come up with your own approach so you don't have to use any of these suggestions. Challenge yourself to strike up a conversation with a stranger or acquaintance in some way. Just have fun with it and see where it leads. Everyone you know was once a stranger. You think about that? It's true. Everybody was once a stranger. So there is no need to feel nervous. If you already have close friends and family, but you have not been disclosing your struggles to them, this card is asking you to be straightforward. Friends and family will appreciate your openness. And this card confirms that it is now time to make a deeper connection through authenticity. And what that means is by being yourself, by not hiding things, you know, like when we have addictions, we tend to hide it and we don't want to talk. And you know, sometimes we become great little liars, you know, like I used to drink alcohol before I left the house, you know, especially if I was going to go visit my mom, um, who's no longer with us, but you know, she didn't drink a day in her life. So she would count, like she'd watch how many 
glasses of wine I would have or something. So I would have some before I went over, you know, I'm not proud of that, but you know, we become little experts at hiding our addictions and even to ourselves, we even lie to ourselves. That's what denial is. It's a strange phenomenon. You guys, I didn't even think I had a problem until my forties. I'm 50 now, but in my forties, like I was still drinking, um, up until five and a half years ago. Um, a little, like five years and a few months, you know, something like that. I was still drinking and didn't see too much of a problem with it. There was a, those last two years, I was definitely slowed down. I realized I was already a life coach even. I didn't realize I had this really strong addiction, like I, until I tried to quit. And I was like, whoa, you know, this is a lot more difficult to quit than I realized it would be, you know, like I... I definitely slow down, but it was still just would come back, right? We, we, we can quit and then relapse. And that's kind of what was happening. Like, okay, I'm done for good. And unfortunately I would drink again, but the last time I drank, I knew that I was done. Like there was no question. I had an energetic shift from all the spiritual recovery work that I do. And I just want to leave you with this, that authenticity is the highest frequency. If you look up, you can Google Spain, S-P-A-N-E, emotional scale. You, we're able to measure this stuff now, you guys. We're able to measure the frequencies. It's not just woo-woo. It's science. You know, like we have the technology to measure the emotions. Isn't that crazy? But it's true. And authenticity came out on top. And I think the reason that's so amazing is I would have guessed it would be love. But the truth is, is we are love. That's who we truly are. We come from love. We're going to go back to love. And that, that probably does sound pretty out there, but that's what I believe. I believe God is love. And so it makes sense that authenticity would be the highest frequency because if we're really being our true authentic selves, that encompasses love. It embodies love. It already is. So it's all the same. So I hope that made sense. And remember, the opposite of addiction is not sobriety. The opposite of addiction is connection. When we really reach out and, and have these genuine connections, we're going to lose a lot of temptation. But yeah, if you keep surrounding yourself with party friends and superficial relationships, you know, you're going to continue the same habits. We really need to pay attention to who we surround ourselves with. You know, they say you become just like the five people that you're around the most. You eventually start vibrating like them. So really pay attention and choose wisely. Choose who you surround yourself with. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys have a beautiful day.